the guy sitting right next to me. I am joined right now by Jonathan. And first thing I have to ask you about is that home run that you hit because you could see the emotion. You're pumping your fist when you're rounding first base, realizing that it went out. And then the biggest smile on your face in the dugout. How would you describe what that home run meant to you? Uh, it was surreal. I, um, so coming up from Toledo, a lot of the guys told me, you know, go, don't go up there being passive. And so uh, my roommate, Donnie Sands, you know, he told me, he said, you're going to hit a home run today. And so uh, <laughs> I kind of went out there and, and made it happen. And it's, it's pretty cool. So that's why I was so emotional. And just being able to contribute today, it was great. Now, just a couple of days ago, you were literally sitting in a chair at the barbershop, getting your hair cut. You get a phone call. You find out that you're getting traded. Right. Immediately join the Marlins and then make key contributions tonight. How would you describe what these past couple of days have been like for you? It's been exciting. That's the only word that, that really comes to mind. And it's, uh, it's also kind of a relief, too, because, you know, you, you do all this work and you work so hard to try to be here. And uh, just for it to pay off, it means so much, uh, not only to me, but for my family and for my friends, it's, it's, it's exciting. You have played a couple of games here previously in your career, so at least a little bit of familiarity with Coors Field. But again, it's a new team, a new opportunity. What did you focus on making your first start tonight as far as your preparation to make sure that you were ready for this moment? Yeah, uh, so honestly, if I'm, if I'm honest, I, I, I really just wanted to relax, uh, not let the game uh, get too high or too low. Uh, but at the same time, I wanted to be aggressive. Uh, I didn't want to be passive. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I went out there and I made it happen. And so uh, it's good, like I said, to be able to go out and uh, contribute. You came up to us in the clubhouse the other day. You introduced yourself. You shook all of our hands. Obviously, it's going to be a lot of fun to get to know you. For Marlins fans who are going to get to see what you're capable of on the field, what do you want to tell them about the way that you play this game and, and what you hope to add to this team? <laughs> uh, so I guess what I would say, I want to play the game like a kid. Um, you know, a lot of times we can get caught up in the business, get caught up in, uh, you know, the situations. But, um, you know, it's, it's fun when you can go out and just play the game like a kid. And that's what I really want to do. I want to go out and play the game, have fun and uh, play to win. You know, that's the ultimate goal. So that's it. Well, that smile in the dugout showed it all. Appreciate the time. Congratulations on a fun that. night. Thank you. There's a lot of guys that have been hitting the ball hard, just got no love. I think Yuli has been outstanding the whole series, um, scoring up balls. Righties, lefties, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, having him back, you know, after a little bit of a funk, I guess, uh, has been nice to see. Not really his fault. I haven't been playing him too much either. So um, it's just trying to find ways to get him in the lineup and because I know he's a, a run producer um, you know Davis a little spark plug Oppo home run um, some good plays I just thought thought he had a really good game and then obviously Solaire just keeps going it's just been fun to watch him and you know we talk about guys that can change the score and he's he's been doing that um, the whole series so a good offensive output you know throughout you know with Yuli specifically seven hits the last two games like you mentioned just finding that playing time just how tough is that when you know what he can do, but also knowing just with the configuration with your line, you try to get him in there? It's hard. Yeah, it's it's not easy because he, he plays first. And, uh, you know, you got Cooper there that was an all-star last year and um, just trying to find ways of, you know, he's taking ground balls at third and, and second and taking fly balls the other day. So, you know, we're going to try to be creative as much as we can because that bat for me is real and our staff loves him in the lineup. It's just a different look and he's going to put it in play hard somewhere, whether or not it's a hit or not. Um, it's, it's the other, it's the question, but I just, you know, I love where he's at. So, um, you know, trying to be creative is all. Sandy, six innings, they ambush and get some hard contact the first inning and then settles in afterwards. What stood out to you about how he did tonight? I think he settled in after the second inning. Uh, the second inning, there wasn't a lot of balls that were hit hard. Um, the two-seamer was really working. He didn't really have a feel for the four-seam. I thought the two-seam was really good, and um, obviously the changeup was effective. So uh, there wasn't a ton of hard contact after that second inning, and felt like he really settled in. Um, all right, I know they say it was precautionary for you taking out. Just any concerns with him, or how's he doing? Yeah, just cramping and um, didn't feel like it was, you know, with the six or seven run lead at the time, didn't really feel like it was a need to push him. Can you pinpoint um, any part of the game where you felt like momentum flipped for you guys i never feel comfortable here so i no because i mean i've been a part of games where i've lost in the ninth inning 
uh, up eight. So, no, I don't ever feel comfortable. Uh, we keep going, keep pushing, and, um, you know, when the game's over, that's when I feel comfortable. With, with Yuli, um, when you guys acquired him, um, what were your initial thoughts about what he might get? And has he surpassed that? And also, what does he bring to this club just as a veteran presence who's won? Well, he said it. He had winning player, Gold Glover, Silver Slugger, knows what it takes to you know to win it, um, and to get into the postseason. Uh, knows what preparation looks like. Um, doesn't play every day, but he's working every day just in case he gets the opportunity. There's guys that are around him in his locker every single day for a reason because there's so much knowledge and um, guys are learning from him, whether it's the young guys or even the veteran in Solaire. So um, he's been a huge addition to us or for us, and I'm uh, just glad to have him on our team. Uh, the double steal, I guess, the double cruise coming home, you just had one of those situations in San Fran. And you see, see all went there, and then for you guys to get it this time, just what was going on there, was that? Call the double steal, or was it just when De La saw Yuli go that just started going there in the rundown? Yeah, we got to clean the base running yeah. up. Uh, the bottom line that that was not a, that was not called, um, but you know you don't want them to be robots either. They saw some something and tried to take advantage of a situation. However, um, they're just a couple things that you know we just got to tighten up. Uh, if we want to get to where we want to get to, um, you know, it was a couple base running mistakes in San Fran, and um, you know a couple here uh, the last couple games. Um, so even though it worked out and Daly did a, the right thing of going inside and getting the ball. Um, it, the ball's hit in the middle of his back. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't uh, maybe the right situation just because of a, a couple other factors that we've talked about. And we'll clean it up. You know, we'll get better at it.